Gerald Glassford is a familiar face at the U of A, a leader of vision who helped shape the Faculty of Physical Education and Recreation to become one of the most successful anywhere. Oh boy, that's a bad one. Having taught and coached early in his career, he joined the faculty after receiving his master's degree and began helping to coach the Golden Bears basketball team. As an administrator in the faculty, he worked tirelessly to ensure U of A athletics programs were a positive and transformative experience. Having lived on a, on a homestead, I, I was not lonely, but I was alone. And so when the bus system came in and I was able to go into Quesnel, I found out about this wonderful world of sport. And it was the big thing for me was I could be a member of a group, a member of a team. And so as I grew older, teamwork became an important concept. You want your coaches who are really teachers to be involved with those young people. And that doesn't always happen. And, and here, I think we have blended together student athleticism with academic work. I don't know that any university has had the success over the, the whole spectrum of athletics as we have had as a university, and I'm very proud of that. Kelty Duggan is one of the most accomplished swimmers to ever graduate from the U of A. As a student, she was a six-time CAIU champion and a member of Canada's national team from 1987 to 1993. She won gold medals at the 1987 Pan American Games in Indianapolis, the 1989 Pan Pacific Championships in Tokyo, and the 1990 Commonwealth Games in Auckland. How many days have we done at the drops? In more recent years, she has trained as a doctor, completing a residency in family medicine. U of A was a great time in my life. It was a, a wonderful start to, to a career. There was this pull towards possibly going on a scholarship to the United States, and I was being sent a lot of information and requests to consider teams um, down south. Um, but the U of A was a draw for me because I knew it was a good university, a really good university. The academics came first and the sports were to enrich your life and enhance your university experience, but the academics had to come as a priority. Okay, can I check your ear again? Oh, sir. And now I'm working with people who are perhaps suffering from a stroke or suffering from major medical conditions. If they're suffering and they want to get themselves back to a certain level, they have to work every bit as hard as we did as athletes when we were trying to push ourselves. And they do, they rise to that challenge. And that's what inspires me and I find amazing. Blake Dermott is a survivor in a game known for short careers. He started all his 41 games as a Golden Bear, selected as a Canada West All-Star twice, and even took up wrestling in his spare time. He began a 14-year career with the Edmonton Eskimos in 1983, never missing a game in 187. Voted by fans to the Eskimos All-Century team, he played in five Grey Cups and was twice named a CFL Western Division All-Star. Since retiring, he's been giving back to the Edmonton amateur football community as a coach and leader. The university's tough. It's really tough. And I, I didn't, it wasn't easy. I struggled for three years uh, figuring out my course loads and all those kinds of things. But the one thing about being on a big sports team is you've got such a good support group, you know, around you that, uh, you know, you could swing a dead cat and hit eight guys that have had the same issues that you're dealing with right now, you know, as far as... Uh, when am I going to find time to study? I got to get to the gym and train, and I got you know I got this test coming up. And sometimes now I, uh, more so than some of the people that I work with, I have the ability to have more balls in the air at the same time than other people do. And I and I don't think that I would have been able to do that had I not gone, you know, to to the U of A and uh, and learned all the things that I had to learn about scheduling the events in my life. I still coach football a lot and uh, coached a lot of different sports and. And, and seeing the successes that the kids have, I, I really enjoy that. And Janine Wood was there step for step. Great tackle by Janine Wood. Janine Helland is a shining star of Canadian soccer. A four-time All-Canadian with the Pandas and championship MVP when her team won the 1989 National Championship, she was twice winner of the Bakewell Trophy as the U of A's top female athlete. She also played 10 years with the Edmonton Angels of the Alberta Major Soccer League, twice winning national titles, and coached the Grant McHugh and Griffins to a collegiate national championship. These days, she's coordinator of community programs for Kidsport Edmonton. The quality and the caliber back when I was at the U of A was outstanding. 
we were successful and it was a great training ground. Uh, you know, I was playing for the national team at the time and my training was outstanding. I didn't have to worry about the kind of training I was getting. I didn't have to try and seek it out elsewhere. It was here. The phys ed program at the time was excellent in the sense that um, it, it, it was well-rounded. Uh, it, was, it was the kind of place where when I graduated I felt I was ready. I was fortunate enough to get a job right after I graduated and it, it wasn't overwhelming. It was, it was, I was ready for it. I was prepared for it. We provide registration fees to low-income families so their kids can participate in sport. It just is an opportunity to give to those kids um, the opportunities that I had.